right, we are riding to Lubbock, Lubbock, Texas, about 40, what, about 40 miles out, Billy? We're about 40 miles out from the hub of the South Plains, Lubbock, yeah. Texas. <laughs> give us a little bit about uh, what it was like to cheer from Texas Tech and give us a little bit of your background as Texas Tech concerned and just yeah, the whole speed. Let's well, see thank on. you. I um, actually came to Tech because I had a job at the South Plains Mall. My aunt and uncle owned some stores, so I was supposed to run track in New Mexico and ended up coming to Tech to work for my aunt and uncle. After I got over here, he said, uh, you need to go down and take some classes at Tech. And uh, I had to work a year before I became an in-state resident. Then I moved into the dorms and I tried out for the track team at Tech and I got cut. So I was in depression and uh, just happened to be over at the intramural gym and a girl asked me to stunt with her for cheerleader tryouts. And I said, teach me how, I'm willing to learn. So I started learning how to do basic cheerleading stunts and she taught me motions and stuff so I could go in the gym and try out with her. And did that for about two weeks. And then went to tryouts and they wouldn't let me go in the gym because I wasn't signed up to try out. So I just in the spur of the moment signed the form and turned it in. And there was 67 girls and 27 guys and they were picking three girls and three guys for the freshman cheerleading squad. And I ended up making it and she didn't. So my whole life kind of changed right there from sports and track to cheerleader world. So that was in the fall of 1978. Eight, wow. and uh, I had just turned 19 years old, and once that happened, life changed and became a, just a Red Raider freak. Then in the next year, I pledged what's called Saddle Tramps, which was the men's spirit organization, and so I cheered again, made varsity the next year, and the girl then got me on the NCA staff, so I started teaching summer camps for NCA, cheering at Tech, and just got real involved. Um, our first year, we did not do anything. We didn't go to camp. I didn't even, we went to South Padre, had a blast. And three years later, I was on a team that was so good, we ended up going to nationals and we placed ninth. It's kind of the years that it became a competitive thing at Tech. 1982 was the first team that went to nationals and they, they did really well. They did the famous four high pyramid and uh, we just have kept, kept go Tech has kept going on in cheerleader world since then. We were always top 10, and now about the middle 90s, we became top five. And the last five years, we've been top three in the nation, placing wow. second. And uh, so it's very competitive, it's great. We've got a huge alumni group here. We always cheer homecoming. And uh, we have almost 100 people, alumni, that'll cheer homecoming each year. Um, for my 50th birthday, five years ago, four years ago, four years ago, thank you. Um, my friend set up a scholarship for the Tech Cheerleaders in my name. It's called the Billy R. Smith Leadership Scholarship. And we've now got about $120,000 in the fund. And they give out six scholarships starting this year to a male cheerleader, a female co-ed cheerleader, a female all-girl cheerleader, a Palm Squad member, a Saddle Tramp, which is the Men's Spirit Organization, and the High Riders, which is the Women's Spirit Organization. And my sister was a High Rider when she was going to school here. So six leadership scholarships will be given, and I'm very honored they're in my name, but more importantly, that the alumni are building the program up with the kids these days so that they understand what's important. And uh, cheerleading now has gotten to be so competitive. We have an all-girl squad that started last year at Texas Tech, and they are just uh, amazing, and uh, they have not gone to nationals yet. They're waiting to build that program up so they feel like they can go and be very competitive, but they are by far into the school spirit side, which is the most important thing to us. The co-ed squad, like I said, phenomenal, top three in the nation last five years, by far the best in Texas. Tech is the only Big 12 university in Texas that also competes at a college national championship. So if you want to be a cheerleader in Texas and you want to go to nationals and cheer for the Big 12 or big school, Division 1A, you go to Texas Tech. So it's become the place to cheer. And uh, Red Raider fans are crazy all over after we win the national championship in 94 with the Lady Raiders in basketball and kind of the momentum started just going into being a Red Raider and being a part of Red Raider Nation and now with the baseball team going to Omaha to their first College World Series this spring, and now with Cliff Kingsbury in his second year, Raider Nation is on fire. 
For the oh. first time ever, all the football tickets, season tickets were sold out. First time, 41,000 season ticket holders. And all of the tickets for every out-of-town game are sold. So we've got a great following. People are fanatics. They're uh, looking to win. It's time to go to the next level. And we feel like with Cliff Kingsbury, we can do it. The cheerleaders have been ready for this moment for a long time. We've been waiting on this. They, uh, After we score, you're going to see them tumble like they're national champions, run the flags. It is a show. Texas Tech football with the horse running down the middle of the stadium when the team runs on. and It's a black quarter horse. And uh, it's like no other, no other school in the nation, the entrance when the team comes on. Texas Tech fans are... Um, in a section, I say the college student fans sit down next to the field. We have one of the largest student sections in the nation. Last year they had 12,000 student seats and there's 33,000 uh, uh, students at Tech that come to the athletics. They swipe their student ID to get in. Once 12,500 come in, it's shut down. So there's always too many students that can't get in. So they come and camp out before the night of the game so they're in line early. Oh, wow. That's called Raiderville. And they do that for the biggest games, but it's got to be where they will line up starting tomorrow morning probably about 6 a.m. because they want to have one of those seats. So last year uh, they expanded the student seats to 16,000. So almost half the student body goes to the games. They sit in a horseshoe shape at Tech around the field. Because of that, the students get the lower part of the horseshoe, so they're right next to the field. It's first come, first serve, no reserve seating for the students. So it's rowdy. It's so rowdy. So you're going to see a whole lot of bodies painted, beautiful, beautiful girls. That's what West Texas is known for, having the most beautiful girls, the most beautiful cheerleaders. No matter how talented, they're always going to be the prettiest. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Texas Tech Spirits, just it's on fire right now. We're, uh, you know going stronger and stronger, but I'm so proud of the Tech Cheer Squad. It's it's expanding. Our Palm Squad that's going to be at the games has ranked number three in the nation the last two years, only losing to Brigham Young, which is a required class there, and Penn State University. So the dance team is phenomenal. They're going to be, uh, they kind of dress like the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders with the white boots and uh, all white uniform, and they, they are some bad to the bone dancers in those cowboy boots. The cheerleaders, like I said, phenomenal. Tumblers, stunners, you're going to see every kind of spirit. The stadium mill at Tech is Raider Power. One side of the stadium's Raider, the other side's Power, and it will be deafening. It is so fun to get involved. The whole students are yelling Raider, and all the parents are yelling Power, and it just bounces back and forth as loud and rowdy as the game is. So looking forward to a great season, and uh, tune in. But this is called Get Your Guns Up, and that's what we do. Wreck <laughs> Tech.